Hi, we're here to talk to you today about what we think is one of the best investment opportunities in America today, and that's REO type property. Uh, we feel like the opportunity to buy property for pennies on the dollar for thirty, thirty-five, forty thousand dollars is an amazing opportunity that we may not again get again in our lifetime. I used to think back, you know, if I was here in the old days and could buy a house for twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars and sit on it till it was worth a hundred thousand dollars, like my grandfather did. Um, and, and even my father, I didn't think we'd ever have that opportunity, but today in America we do. And if history is an indication of the, the future, then we need to take advantage of that opportunity. So what we're going to do is, I believe in real estate, you just need to focus on the numbers. Um, I've owned half million dollar, million dollar homes as investments, and that was really fun to talk about with a lot of people, but at the end of the day, what I care about when I'm doing real estate investing is how much money am I going to make on that property and I've switched my entire focus to these REO type properties because when I saw the numbers and the numbers don't lie it taught me that this was the best place to make money right now and so what we're going to do is we're going to take a property price an average house that we sell of $35,000 with an average rent of about $650 a month and if we take those numbers we can go over here and we can do the math uh, we know that our rental income is $7,800 we know that our taxes on this, you know, on this property, let's just average it out $1,072. We have some that are cheaper, some that are more, but $1,072 is about average. Uh, insurance is going to cost about 10% of the property. Really, it'll be half that, but we throw in $780 to be saved. And if you end up finding insurance for cheaper, good for you, your returns go up. And then we have a management fee. The property management fee is $780. We do have property managers that help you to manage those properties and we kind of take all that headache out of it for you. And our property managers, some people consider expensive. We love them. They're perfect for us. They charge 10% of whatever the rent is. You could probably find it for 7 or 8%. And if you can find one you trust and like, then by all means go ahead and do it. Um, we're not going to talk about the mortgage payment quite yet. We're just going to get on the side where if you don't have a mortgage, um, cash flow. So based on these numbers, after taking out your expenses, your cash flow is $5,168 for the year. That gives you a 14.8% return on your money annually. And so it's one of those things, just take a moment and compare it to your 401k, your IRA, your CDs, your annuities, any of those type of investments. If this is beating that, I make a suggestion that maybe you should look at doing an REO property instead of keeping your money there for two reasons. One, it's a better return and that just makes sense and two, I believe it's a more secure investment. If you lose all the money in your 401k, you'll have a piece of paper that said you used to have money. If you lose all your money on the property or lose all the value, you can still rent the property out. You still have a house. It's still real property. You have something to show for it and the value can come back. In a 401k, if you lose all the money, the value can't come back. All you can do is put more new money in and then hope they do a better job the next time. Now, the next thing we add to the numbers is your repair vacancy reserve. We set aside about 20% of your income for that, and that's $1,560. That's in case a tenant moves out, or you have to evict them, or there's some damage to the property you have to fix, little things that happen every day in real estate. That's what that money's for. Now, that brings your cash flow down to $3,608, and if you use your entire reserve amount to take care of the property, you're still making a 10% annual return on your money. That's an incredible return compared to what most people in America are getting on their investments today. Now we're going to jump over here to the other side and show the mortgage. Um, same numbers up top, if you're bringing in $7,800 a year, you have $1,072 in taxes, $780 for insurance, $780 for property management, that leaves your um, now you have to add a mortgage payment. The mortgage payment would be $1,620 for the year. It's about $134 a month on a mortgage payment of a house of $35,000. Or if you were to get private financing or some other financing. That would bring your cash flow to $3,548. And so if you look, that cash flow is less than the $5,000, but your return on your money is 24%. By using someone else's money, the bank's money or a private lender, you increase your return on your dollar for dollar investment. And the way that's done is we figured you have to put about 25% down on the property. So you only have to put about 14,000 and some change into buying this $35,000 house. 
So your cash on cash return goes up because of that number. Now if we take the numbers down further and you have your repair vacancy account of $1560, that brings your cash flow all the way down to $1,980 and that brings the return to 15.5%. So at 15.5% it's a huge return and it's even better than if you have no mortgage and pay cash for the home. Either way, I'm pretty sure it'll beat your 401k, your annuity, your CD, and other investments you're doing. And that's what people in America call their safe investment. I believe real estate's the safest investment in America if you're not speculating. And we are not speculating. We are showing you the real numbers on properties, renting them out. We're not telling you to go and sell the property or flip the property or speculate on the future growth of America, that the property's going to come back or the values are going to come back. These are the real numbers today. We know we can rent the property out. We have renters lined up to rent these properties when we're done rehabbing them. So we feel like because of that, it's a very secure investment. Now down here we're going to talk about what we call the total potential return of the investment. And it, all it is is potential. Obviously the numbers could go up or down and vary, vary a little bit based on the market. But your total potential return, if you add in everything, which is this, if you have a net cash flow of $3,608, we took that from up here, then you have a 5% annual appreciation each year on the property. Um, real estate's always gone up 4 to 5% annually every year other than during a recession, but after the recession adjusts, property starts going up 5% a year again. So we, we calculated in $1,750 there for a total potential return of $5,358 annually for a total return on investment of 15.3%. Now if we come over here and we go to using someone else's money and having a mortgage, well right here we add in the $1,750 um, for the annual appreciation, but we also add in about $3,600 for the pay down on the loan. As you're making the mortgage payment and paying down the loan, you have a, you have a profit there. You have a, a, a certain amount of money that comes out of the loan that helps you. That brings your cash flow to $7,338 um, on an annual basis and that brings your return on your investment to 33.1 percent. And so that is a huge return if you're using other people's money. If you use your own money it's 15 percent. Those are the real numbers. We believe that the numbers don't lie. Um, although 2 plus 2 doesn't always equal 4, most of the time it does. We want you to go and do the math yourself. We want you to go and do your own research and make sure that the numbers we've showed you are the same numbers you come up with. You have to do your own due diligence. It's important. These are all potentials. Not everybody's results are the same, but we know this is the best investment in America and we're bringing it to people like you every day.